Hello you. Oh, have I got a special one for you today. This is Steeplejack for the ZX Spectrum by Adrian and John Keylock. And what a name that is for, for programming, eh? That's nominative determinism right there in action, isn't it? Are there cousins the, the caps locks and the num locks as well? This, this one was sent to me by um, uh, the Game Whisperer, who um, went to school with uh, Adrian Keylock. And uh, this is basically a game about the hometown of Porthcawl, which is just down the road from me. So this is like a local game for local people. Marvellous! I, I can't... it's just brilliant. Um, apparently there's lots and lots of screens of things from the area around here. And the whole idea of it is to basically flatten this old, run-down, old seaside town. Ahem. Wonder where that came from. Uh, because there was a big road coming through. Yes, new road was coming through. So they had to be flattened down to... Um, let's press... there we go. To um, make way for new road. It's all very... Um, well, I, I would say it's all very League of Gentlemen. It's also this area in the 80s when the M4 came through. It came ploughing right through here. I'm not sure... it didn't really go through um, Porthcawl. Porthcawl was kind of on the coastline, but... Um, North of there, uh, we got we got the M4 ploughing through here, and it seemed quite in, quite fun at the time as a kid to see all these bulldozers and everything around. And uh, before it opened up fully, we could uh, go and walk on it and things. And now it's just the same as anywhere else, and traffic and traffic accidents and noise and stuff like that. And it would be much nicer if it was left as fields. But there we go. <laughs> it's like uh, Sim City: you create roads, you create traffic. You put a motorway through, then... Although I shouldn't really complain that much. I mean, it would have taken hours and hours and hours to get out of Wales, where at least now I can hop down to the motorway junction and be on my way wherever. Um, thing being, I tend not to, and I uh, just watch the motorway. And listen to the accident. There's a lot of accidents on the motorway around here. But anyway, yeah, going back to the game, which is what you're actually here for. Steeplejack, let's go uh, Kempston Joystick. Ooh, and we have we have sound coming from the the speaker on the on the specy itself because I've got I've gone old school with this. I could have played it on one two eight, but I thought this is from nineteen eighty five. I've got DK Tronics case. Can we see the DK Tronics case if I stick this lamp on? Maybe. There you go. Just about see it. DK Tronics and Conic Speed King. Because that's pretty much what uh, one of my mates at school had. So I figured Game Whisperer's mate, uh, mate at school um, wrote this. I'm playing it on uh, the um, the specy from my school mate. Uh, so you've got to go around and flatten every screen. Okay. So uh, heads up, I have had a quick go at this just to see what it was. You know, it wasn't what I was expecting, to be honest. Um, that, but I am this thing jumping around on the top up there. I have a bonus down there at the bottom right, and jumping up and down. If you pull down, you do that. That's how you destroy things. So you kind of have to. I should have chosen a better joystick for this, to be honest. Oop. And when you die, the entire screen resets. But. You've got to try and... I don't know if you're supposed to do the whole screen. I get the horrible feeling you are. And if you fall, you die. So, um... It's not the most forgiving of games. Now I've balls that up, haven't I? Can I? No. It really isn't a forgiving game. But from, whoop, hey, from what I've read on, oh, there we go, got it. Whoop. It is a hundred percent machine code, apparently. Hey, no basic here. You're okay dropping that far. So that's that bit done. And that's about as much as I've been able to manage on this. Thing being, this is set in the railway station. I'm unaware of Porthcawl having a railway station. Not in my lifetime, anyway. Uh, 
there was one years ago, but we're, I mean, when I say years ago, we're talking sort of my granddad's era. There used to be a train station to Forth Call. So I'm not quite sure why there appears to be an Intercity 125 here. Yes, other thing about this is some of these blank areas enemies pop out of when you um, uncover them. So, um, yeah, I will just go to... Oh, damn it, I didn't mean to. Look, look, don't tell Terry Nation. Do not tell the estate of Terry Nation. Yeah, see, an enemy appeared then. And now the screen's reset. And I've got to do it all over again. Ha! <sighs> damn. Let's just wipe out this area first. There we go. Lovely. Yeah. Think a minute. One of the things about this that uh, wanted me to uh, show this is because, um, weirdly, although um, Game Whisperer, I, I don't know if he wants his real name mentioned on, on screen, so I, I will just refer to him as Game Whisperer. Uh, but I'm sure if you follow him on, twi on Twitter and get to know him, <laughs> maybe he'll let you know his ri oh real name. Uh, let's. Um, where was I? I'm getting distracted by an infuriatingly difficult game. Uh, oh, I didn't die then. Okay. What is this tune? Is it the Blue Danube? Or Claire de Lune? Or it's... it's... Oh, can't remember. And yet I fell in that... It's not a fair game. And also I'm not entirely sure whether a Connex speaking is the best joystick for this. Diagonals are somewhat uncomfortable at times. But, um, yeah, um, Game Whisperer, basically, uh, this was found in a bunch of uh, tapes in, uh, oh, can I, no, I can't get that, so now I think the entire screen is buggered, isn't it, but we'll keep going. Uh, a bag of Spectrum games found in his parents' loft that he thought had been uh, chucked years ago turned up, and um, this was one of them. Um, when he was in school, this game, uh, Adrian wrote this game in school, in machine code. <laughs> and uh, Game Whisperer uh, bought it in a local shop. And it was listed as missing in action on uh, World of Spectrum. Oh, oh yeah, I didn't mean to, didn't mean to uncover that, because now that's free. Hmm. Well, I suppose if I do this... Oh yes, you can go forwards as well. No! Ah, I don't want to be doing this. Phew. Can I... That'll keep going all that, all that way now, won't it? Right, let's, um, yeah, so we got this in a local shop for local people and uh, then went about um, many years later capturing this for um, the good people at uh, World of Spectrum and then submitted it and then um, Adrian turned up and said, yes, I wrote this game, and it's uh, it, it's great to see uh, old school friends reunited through the uh, medium of uh, computer games. And then someone was kind of a bit dickish about how difficult the game was. Wah! Ooh. I mean, yeah, it is. I've just realised I haven't zoomed in, have I? 
honestly so you've not seen any of this so now I've got to go through it all again yeah it's slightly wobbly picture at the top of the screen but what can you do it's an old specky I could have put it on the 128 and had it come out through SCART perhaps or something like that but um, hey RF get used to it uh, yeah so, so some people were a bit overly critical about how difficult the game was when let's face it there are other games that are just as ridiculously difficult and possibly I can't get that can I no. more broken and um, so Adrian um, didn't come back after that and the uh, game is listed as uh, missing in action still even though it's been uh, saved for posterity and uh, preserved in various different formats, uh, it's still uh, missing in action according to uh, World of Spectrum. So uh, bravo there. Absolutely bravo. Look, you can go sideways to do stuff as well. Takes longer though. But Yeah, so there really are some dickish people in the uh, gaming community, aren't there, sadly. I mean, it probably wasn't wasn't meant to be, but you just think, really? I know I've said at times some games, oh this is terrible, but I am aware that sometimes you put stuff out there and you know you don't know who's going to be what. It could be the person who made it. It could be the person who, oh, who was under a deadline with the boss breathing down their neck, and they were forced to put out something that they weren't happy with. Ooh. So I do try not to be overly critical of some stuff. I mean, with the except with, with, in the cases of stuff like say, um, ooh, there we go, say Chase HQ on the C64, I mean that's not really the programmer's fault, that's, that's the money man in the company going, I don't care if it's shit, it needs to be out for Christmas. And people will go, but this is like kids' birthday money, Christmas money, someone's birthday present, that's all I don't care, it's it's money, we've got to, we've got to pay the bill, if that's, if that's shit, it's going to sell anyway, we've got a Bob Wakeling cover on it. Yeah. That's the sort of stuff that's really stinky. <laughs> How do I end up down there then? Hmm. So, um, I don't think we're going to see me complete this screen, to be honest. Because I don't have hours and hours and hours to, to do this, and and I've got my blood pressure to think of as well. Ooh. That was one of the other things as well, in, in the... Um, Forum comments. Adrian had said, "Oh, you know, I can give hints and tips on how to how to play it." And people say, "Oh, have you got a video of, of you playing it?" Because obviously he played it a lot and knew exactly where to go on each screen. And um, oh yeah, and these these sprites that suddenly appear and kill you—that that's a programming issue. Yeah. Because uh, oh, you oh, apparently you couldn't get sprites to be there when there was something in the way blocking it. So they had to be, they had to appear once they were uncovered. So you know it's kind of like, um, oh no, Ooh. no, it's kind of like Treasure Island Dizzy killing you after one life because uh, they couldn't work out how to um, shift things around in your inventory. So they just went, well, one life and you're dead. <laughs> ah, a very manic miner. Yeah, so a hacked version of this would be quite nice. However, there there is another version, which sadly I don't have. This was released... Um, if I have a quick uh, rummage on my phone to find the... Uh... Oh, come on, where's the picture? Got them here somewhere. Bear with me, bear with me, we will get there eventually. Yes, actually it says there, Digit Ape. Yeah, well, I, I'll probably use this for the thumbnail picture. 
But uh, yeah, so um, digitape cover. Um, oh, and there's the cassette. Can we focus? We probably can't focus on this, can we? What if I uh, zoom out? Ooh, no, that's in. Careful now. Mind your heads. Is that any better? I don't know. Let's zoom back in. Uh, yeah. Copyright 1985. Digit Ape. <laughs> Steeplejack. Uh, yeah, apparently there, there was this version, and there was another version released by Romantic Robot. They of the um, multi-face fame. And uh, that version is a slightly remixed version of this, with the uh, screens in a different order. So uh, you don't get stuck on that screen to start with. So, um, yeah, I'd like to have a look. I've just noticed the name of the character, starring Jack of all trades. Aha. Uh -huh. Yeah, OK. Bravo. I, I was reading that first as Oval Triads? Tri trides? What's it? Oh, Jack of all trades. Mm. Uh, yeah. So um, there, there's a romantic robot release of this, um, but you know, seeing as people were rude to Adrian on uh, World of Spectrum, the odds of us seeing that one ever now, or maybe some, maybe someone's got it and they've uploaded it to World of Spectrum and it's still showing as, oh hello, as still missing in the action. Yes, that's the Grand Pavilion in Porthcawl, but I'm, I'm unaware of a water mill in Porthcawl, but. Multi-story car park, yes, it's got it's a safe way or was, I think. Um Haunted Ma Well there is a big house on the outskirts. Unaware of a pit head in under uh, park bandstand. Yeah, I think there used to be. Yeah, there's kind of docks that uh that's gotta be Panath, because there isn't a pier in Dunraven Court. Dunraven Court, that sounds familiar. Now not being a Porth Court lad myself, I'm not entirely sure, but Dunraven Court makes me think of Bridgend. Fire station, the abandoned farmyard, <laughs> Sunday school house. Okay, these all look like nightmares to do. The country manor house. Maybe that's the one I'm thinking of. The old manor house, petrol station. Yeah, the rundown place. The light chip. Yeah, there used to be a light chip. I think. Shopping centre. Well, there's not. There wasn't much of a shopping centre, and the lo local library is a tiny little place. Coronation Street. Right. I'm not sure about oast houses. The oast houses is more um. Coke processing plant. It's more of Kent, really, than uh, South Wales. Town Hall. Well, mm, bus station. Yeah, there's a blast in the past, but I can't remember the last time there was a proper bus station. No. Market Hall. Mm hmm. Secret submarine base. Right, that would be. Um, oh, I can't think of the name. Uh, Kenfig Sands, maybe? <laughs> that way? The off lights, well, bargain booze, radio transmitters. I'm unaware of radio and transmitters in the area. The demolition site, well, surely everything's the demolition site. Yes, there is a, the, well, there's a little lighter. That's more like Clifton in Bristol, isn't it, than the Seven Bridge, the Ionic Temple. I don't know the Ionic Temple. Is it a Masonic thing? Because there is a Mason's place around there. The Chinese restaurant, just just the one Chinese restaurant. Football, I'm, I'm unaware of a football setting, but then I've never been interested in the sport. Ruin Castle, we've got a load of those around this way. Goodbye, Tom's Motors. I don't know Tom's Motors, but I'm guessing that's a proper local space shuttle launch pad. Yeah, yeah, Porthcawl's got a space shuttle launch pad. It's in, it's in uh, Coney Beach. <laughs> the sawmill, the local, the local cinema. No, the only local cinema that I know in the area was uh, the Embassy, and uh, that's now a car park. Hydroelectric plant. Yeah, we don't get one of those because uh, they didn't do any funding for the local. Uh, the Swansea uh, Barrage, did they? Power station, well that's going to be Abathor, not um, the Breakwater, yeah. And the benches outside, the Broken Carousel. Well, you could say that's, the Broken Carousel, you could say it's half the rides at Porthcawl Funfair. Uh, well, that's, um, yeah, I, I, I'd never get through this. <laughs> but I would be interested in seeing the uh, Romantic Robot release to um, try a few different uh, screens, because um, doing that... Um, well, well, we'll we'll go into it again. Actually, you know what? I'm going to put the um, Speed King joystick away. Fun though it is, and I'm going to try to see if I'm any better with. What am I doing? I've got this light here, haven't I? Doi. With PowerPlay Cruiser. See if it's any better that way. And try not to knock anything as I plug the joystick into the port at the back here. Come on, come on, where are you? 
Things are much more finicky on a Spectrum than on a Commodore, aren't they? Uh, I don't, I'm, I'm not knocking it, I'm not knocking it before all Spectrums go, ooh, bread bin, ooh, blocky, ooh, brown. Just, they were cheaper machines, weren't they? And sometimes you can tell that. <laughs> H to hold an R to re Oh yeah, and also, that's something in the instructions, you can save your progress to tape. So that's that's an interesting uh, feature, but um, I don't have a tape deck connected at the moment, I am running on TVMMC Future. And I don't think saving to tape mean, means that it will automatically create a file on the SD card. Uh, I think it's then playing stuff out to the audio. So, but uh, let's... Um, oh actually, should we go quick through the church? Yes, there are churches in Porthcawl. The Grand Pavilion, yes, I saw Eddie Izzard at the Grand Pavilion. He was very funny. The water mill, oh, hang on, there's a water, there's, there was a, a harvester type place called the water mill near Merthyr Mawr, which is nearby. Haunted Mansion, the Pit Head, I don't know, a Pit Head, not round this way. Park Bandstand, well, that could be Bridgend. The Dockland, that's more Cardiff, I think, Cardiff and Swansea. The Pier, that's got to be Penarth. Dunraven Court, that's got to be Bridgend, I'm thinking. The summer house, I, I'm unaware of anything like that. The warehouse loading rate, well, that could be your local Asda. The fire station, yes, there, there are fire stations. Look at that. Abandoned farmyards, well, there's lots of farmyards and lots of barns and things like that. Sunday school has the theatre. The theatre, I'm not sure about that. The country manor house, yeah, there are some big places around here. That's your pretty typical 80s petrol station. The light chip, yes, that's Porth Call. The shopping centre, could be any town, really. The local library, probably about as many books... Coronation Street, that's up north, and there's another one around here. Oast House, that's going to be Kent. Coke Processing Plant, I have no idea. The Fairy Tale Castle, Castle Cork in uh, Cardiff. Yeah, bus station, yeah, that's the old bus station, probably. The Railway Water Tower, mm, never really hang around the motor railway, so I'm not sure. The Market or the Secret Submarine Base, I'm thinking Kenfig Pool. Castle Gate House, could be any of the castle. Around. No one left to play truant. <laughs> right. The Offie, yes, plenty of those around. Radio transmitters, possibly up Stormy Down, maybe? Demolition site, the main lighthouse, that's got to be Porth Call again. Oh, that could be, oh, what's the bloody name of it? Oh, I know it. On the Glamorgan Heritage Coast, just down from Bad Wolf Bay, as you probably know it from... Uh, oh, I'm going to have to look that up now, that's going to bug me. The bloody... Nash Point, Nash Point, for, uh, yes, that's it. <laughs> Didn't have to look it up, it suddenly surfaced in my brain. Nash Point Lighthouse, now I've missed all the rest of them since then. Yes, there's occasionally a circus turns up at Lalliston. Gymnasium, mm. sawmill, mm. local cinema, yeah, desolated abbey. See, I don't know of any desolate abbeys or hydroelectric plants or monumental arches or observatories that look very strange. Power station, that's got to be Abathor. <laughs> Police station, yeah, yeah, there's a couple of those still open. Breakwater is Porth Call again. Broken Carousel's got to be Porth Call Funfair. There we go, let's have one more go. Yeah, this feels a bit better. <laughs> it's still not going to be easy. There we go. Yeah, that's a bit better. And damn it. Yeah, I've almost uncovered that one up there now. Ooh. Adrian, you made a very frustrating game. I am impressed, but it is frustrating. <laughs> Fortunately, frustrating I can kind of do at times. No. There we go. Oof. Right, there we go. Yes, this is one of those games that makes you make involuntary noises. I mean, the idea you've got a cash bonus, like... 
like you'd ever get like 90, 90 quid for completing the screen. And... Oh! Oh! I thought it was just when you open up the top of it, but no, it's when you open up underneath it as well. Great. I mean, he's generous with the lights. You've got to give him that, but then... If so was Jet Set Willy, really, wasn't it? Yeah. Can I get that and jump at the same time? That's the problem. No. No, I can't. It's one of those games you just think... A little more playtesting by someone who wasn't actually programming the game <laughs> would have been absolutely ideal. Oh, someone to go, this is a bit difficult, can you change this bit? I know that there's, there's having a challenge and there's, this is too difficult. Yeah. I guess this is possibly why Romantic Robot won. Not this screen, not for the first screen. This is too difficult for a first screen. Have it as a challenge once other people have worked out how to play the game a bit. But you have this as the first one, People, lots of people will only see this screen. There we go. It would be nice if like, you didn't have to get 100%, if you just had to like get over 75%, say like kicks sort of thing. That would have been ideal, I think. He says, "Going, I, I don't know. For all I know, maybe you do do only have to get like seventy or eighty percent, and I just haven't done that yet." <laughs> there we go. Let's let's get these before I forget and can't get to them. I think we. 100% machine code, and it's a proper game that was actually released. I barely managed to write a, a, a crappy um, adventure, in quotes, in uh, in BASIC, that wasn't even the same uh, level of quality as the one that uh, you could type in yourself from uh, Input Magazine. Yeah, so I think I'll leave that there, because that's where the Dalek is. No, it's not a Dalek. A state of Terror Nation, don't listen. I have to get that now, aren't I? Uh, there we go. So, let's uh, keep going here and see if I can... Because uh, I think the Dalek just stays at the same level above. So let's give it a try. Right, and I'm below the Dalek, so if I leave that there for now, and where's that snail down below? That's over there. And how far across does that go to those wheels? Where does it appear on the left hand side? There. Oh, you! Oh. <sighs> breathe, just breathe. It's 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 good experience for for learning how to deal with frustrations and difficult things. There we go. It's the Dark Souls of its time. I, I believe, having never played Dark Souls, I've just heard that it's difficult, and I suspect it's got nothing on this. There we go. Do, 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 do. Whoops. Have we had enough of the music? I might turn the music off so we can just... There we go. Press Y. It's very quiet, I'm afraid, but uh, I can't really do a great deal about that. Yes, you can, they say. You could uh, play it on the 1 to 8. Well, I'm not going to. I'm playing it on this because it feels more authentic, and I think that that's what this deserves. 
Ooh, I'm missing that bit up. Okay. Let's flatten all of this down. You just got to be logical, I think, and then not accidentally cock up and um, unleash a beastie right on you. So I think, therefore I am, uh, I think I need to go in sideways for it. Come on, uh, oh no, let's do that that way. There we go. So if I could just go along here and chisel out of all of this stuff. Right, so we've got a Dalek trapped in there. And we've got a thing that's about to come flying out as soon as I take out the top or the bottom of that. So if I do that, then... Oh! Uh, right, in theory, um, where's that snail coming from? Only over there. Ooh. There we go. Now, can I do this safely here? Hmm. It's definitely a puzzle of a game, isn't it? Ah. Hmm. Right, so there's that. I didn't want to do that, did I? Because now that's going to be... Oh, great. I've cocked it up now. Can I get the Dalek to um, hit that? Will that will that have any effect at all? No, no, it doesn't. Well, I might as well wipe out this area, I guess. I'm not going to jump up and hit my head on that. I'm going to leave that chunk there. Let's go. Whoop. Hmm. Hmm. Can I jump left here? No. Nope. Ah, yeah. Do, do. <sighs> Come on, I've got a few lives left. No one's watching at this point, of course. But it just, I see, I didn't die then. How did that not happen? And out the way. And back up again. See, this this is now this is now tweaked that little ganglion in my head that just goes need to complete need to complete one screen. It's not going to happen. I'm t I'm telling myself it's not going to happen. But the the frustration is turning to determination at the moment. Which is probably a very foolish thing for it to do. Da. Right, well, we'll. Oh, yeah, of course we can do this, can't we? Duh. Keep forgetting. <sighs> there we go. It just, it just needs a little bit of tweaking to make it more fun and less frustrating. And I think this is the problem. Yeah. Creating your own game, you need to get other people to. Ooh, that was. Almost very silly, wasn't it? Okay. 
Oh, have I? Yeah, right. Let's uh, get these areas done before I accidentally stop myself being able to get. Oh, what have I done? I shouldn't have jumped down there. Ooh, that was a little on the close side. It'd be nice if you could headbutt. Can I get up onto that and then jump right? Wait for that floating policeman's head to get out of the way. There we go. Lovely. Now, if I... I don't know how to do this, because as soon as I wipe this one out, there's a thing moving left and right, and it's going to hit that thing on the right and bounce back at me. I guess what I need to do is do this one on the right first. Yeah. Oh, it doesn't... It doesn't stay around... Okay, is it just bouncing on... No, you do you do. And now we're going again. I said this was a special one, didn't I? I said right at the start, have I got something special for you? Yes. Yes, special is a good word for it. Special is a is a polite word, I think. I I I I'm being polite. I I I'm not swearing. It's a challenge. It's a challenge for me, and it's a challenge for the coracle. There we go. Uh, you bah. Right. Almost taken out half the screen. Look at that. There we go. That's got to be half the screen, isn't it? That's loosed that. So he's... Getting out of the way up there. Ooh, ooh, almost, almost, not quite. Would be nice if, say, you could um, demolish some things and put some things in place so then you could box in the enemies. It's probably a bit late to be making these suggestions now, 30 odd years after the, after the game was programmed, but hey, you never know. Maybe someone could convince Adrian to uh, do a modern modern remix. Like I said, I mean, people play stuff like Dark Souls, don't they? And they are, I believe, horribly frustrating, but I don't really know, because, yeah, modern games and all that. I've not got anything against modern games, it's just I don't generally have the time, he says, having spent half an hour battering his head against... <laughs> Demolishing chunks of Porth Call. I mean, who wouldn't want to do that? This, this of course, if, if you look at Porth Call now, you'll probably find out stuff about the Elvis Festival. Because, of course, I've, I've never understood that. There is an Elvis Festival in Porth Call. Because Elvis never came to Porth Call. And it's just, it just sounded like the local town council or whoever decided on it went, oh, we need to bring some tourists in. Oh, what, what can we do? What can we do? We could do something local to the area, do something about the local food producers and also uh, do a, f a food festival or it just anything. No, no, we'll, we'll get a load of uh, Elvis impersonators down. Why? Because Elvis. Everyone loves Elvis, don't they? But why Porth Call and Elvis? Oh, it doesn't matter. We'll just get Elvis down here. We'll get loads of Elvis. And so they did. And suddenly, every year, the entire place is inundated with people dressed as Elvis. And you just think, eh? Who, who's still into Elvis, apart from, say, tragic Elvis impersonators? So that's what Porth Call is famous for now. Bravo, whoever thought that one up. Ooh. Ah, <sighs> it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's really fine. 
you know, I'm not entirely sure why I'm doing this to myself now, because we have seen those other screens in the attract mode. It's got an attract mode, this game. I mean, it shows you the other... Oh. The other screens that you'll never see. Come on. No. No! I knew I was pushing my luck on that one, but I had to do it. Right, there we go. <laughs> Did I want to do that? I probably didn't. Ooh. Ah! It's quite, I mean, it's quite fun when you accidentally knock out blocks that you don't want to and uh, then need to work out how you're going to get back to those. That's that's kind of a fun puzzle element. It's just the frustration of getting killed all the time by beasties you can't do anything about. And bear in mind, I've been working out how to do this level how long now? And I still haven't managed it with how many lives? And there are screens after this that you then have to spend equally the same amount of time Trying to work out how to do. That's uh, that's quite a challenge. Other it's a challenge for me, and it's a challenge for the conical. Ooh. Right, let's. Um, I'm not entirely sure why I'm doing it this way, just for a bit of variety. I wonder what livery this train is. Mr. PSB would know. Mr. PSB knows all trains. Right. There we go, let's... Uh, still getting blocked by that. Hmm. Does that let it get past? No, it really does just... Ooh. That is ridiculously difficult. I'm just going to have to drop there. Now, can I actually get to that? Yeah, I think I might have cocked it. It looks like that... That, it looks like a spinning mug. The I, J and A, maybe a K, I don't know. I've cocked that up now, haven't I? I can't... I can't get onto that. And that's in the way... Or is that going to... Is that going to go past now? Is that going to go past? No, it, so there's nothing blocking that spinning mug. It's just going to keep going back and forth there and mean that I can't get to that. But oh well, we'll... We'll just do the rest of it and... Wait for that snail to go past and then we'll uh I missed a bit, didn't I? Marvellous. There we go. Okay. I probably didn't want to do that. Ah there we go. There's the Dalek loose. Go. Uh, let's have some music back on, eh? As we try and do these last. Ooh. That's that bit done. That's that bit done. Phew. Oh, oh, last life. Last life. And though I'm not going to start to get this, is, this is it now. If I don't do it on this one, that's it. Well, I guess that's that then.
I scored no pounds. <laughs> and I didn't get off building number one. But there we go. I hope it's been a fun experience for you. <laughs> it's been an interesting one, I will say that. It, it's certainly an interesting one, and I'm keen to see what the remixed version by Romantic Robot was like. Maybe one day it will turn up on World of Spectrum, if that site ever gets its arse into it. Is it? Is it just me? I mean, it's not just stuff submitted years ago still hasn't turned up. I mean, Lemon64 on the Commodore 64 side of things seems to be quite bad on that front as well, isn't it? It's, it's a resource I use so much, um, but there's still so much stuff missing. I just think, someone someone needs... If someone can't do the updating for it, someone needs to help. And if, if, if someone doesn't want help, then someone needs to accept help. Speaking as a carer, <laughs> I can get this. You need to be able to accept help. Don't just turn it away. But... <laughs> Sometimes there's so many things I, I I think, oh, I'll look that up on World of Spectrum. And you go, broken link, broken link, broken link. Oh, look, here's a link to the review in your singlet. Broken link. Oh, here's a, the information there is good, but as soon as it tries to point to anything else, no, nope, not there. Or it's just me, because it's, it's, it's felt like it's been like that for ages. And I don't know if it's me or the site, or a bit of both. Could be a bit of both. Probably me. I don't know. But, yeah... Maybe one day it'll get updated. Or maybe someone will set up another site. Maybe someone will set up another site with all of the information of all Commodore 64 games and all Spectrum games. And we can live together like ebony and ivory on my piano, keyboard. Oh lord, why don't we? Um, well, if that doesn't get me a content strike... <coughs> Anywho, yes, bit of local, local flavour for you there. Yeah, that's got to be the, the, the water mill down by um, Merthamau. Largest range of sand dunes in Europe. Like we know what Europe is these days. We want nothing to be part of it. We don't want to be any part of it, do we? So now we go, look, we're the biggest sand dunes in Wales. Uh, anyway, let's not get into that. Eh? Look, there's a pussy cat on the fence. Oh, it's gone. Yeah, I, there's no way in hell I would ever complete this game. But I would like to have a go at some of these other levels uh, to see how ridiculously difficult they are and what kind of enemies are going to suddenly appear out of nowhere. Those windows, they're going to be a nightmare. But, uh, yeah, I think I've probably rambled far too long on this one. But, you know, like I say, it's been a local flavour, so um, I'm, I'm interested to know local game by someone local with bits and pieces and f for different areas of... I'm guessing it's the Mid Glamorgan area as it once was back then. Mid Glam. As opposed to just Porth Call. Because Fairy Tale and Fairy Tale Castle, that's got to be Castle Cork in actually yeah, so that's not even Mid Glamorgan. The South Wales area, I'm guessing. Because Castle Cork is um Cardiff. Market Hall, I'm not sure. Oh, I'd 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 love to actually find out exactly which areas which bits of which touristy places, and no one left to play tourists, that's not very touristy, is it? <laughs> what some of these things were, where where these places were. So, uh, but there we go. But maybe, maybe one day Adrian will uh, come back to World of Spectrum or somewhere and uh, and we'll know some more. But, uh, until then, uh, we've, we've just got this and, uh, yeah. Uh, I will see if it is okay for me to um, put a link to... Um, a download of this somewhere, seeing as it's not up on World of Spectrum, but Adrian did say on the World of Spectrum forum that it was okay to um, to uh, propagate it. Should we say? I can't think of the word. Propagate will go with to to share it out. So I will see if I can if I can find a way of um, putting a uh, share as a link in the description to this, um, and hopefully other people can have a go and can batter their heads against it and maybe finally get off level one. But, yes, like I said, probably about five minutes of rambling ago. That's probably far too much rambling already. So um, I shall bid you adieu on that one and uh, say uh, I hope you enjoyed watching. And now we've got the tune kicking in. So that's going to make it awkward for me to put the end titles on without it clashing with the music. So I've got to keep talking now for a little bit until this bit finishes. I dread to think how long this video is, but... Spectrum videos generally are quite short ones, and I only stick those out on a Tuesday, so it'd be nice to have a long one for a Friday, wouldn't it? Yeah. Yeah, I'm suspecting this is going to be a lot longer than the usual 15 minutes, so, um, yeah, Friday video, I think. 
So there we go, Steeplejack on the ZX Spectrum by Adrian and John Keelock of Porthcawl, South Wales. There's lovely. Hope you enjoyed watching. I'll catch you on the next one, maybe. Ta-ta.